Good morning. Hello, everybody. I didn't plan this stream too much. I thought like 10 minutes ago that maybe I should cover. I, I want to investigate two pointers technique. There are several ways to implement it. I will take an example problem from lead code or maybe from another platform. We'll see. Valid point remove zeros. I want something very, very standard. Intersection of two arrays. Are those sorted? Given to arrays, write a function to compute their intersection. Uh, no, I want them to be sorted. The stream works. Yes, it does. Hello, Akash Bisht. Two pointers. What if I Google this? Given a sorted array A in ascending order, having n integers, find if there are an element if there is a pair with the sum equal to x. This is quite standard. Or we move with two pointers like that. I think more often we move with a window and we expand it or not. Find the closest pair. Closest to X on triples, triplets. I wondered how well the stream will go because I'm not I didn't announce it anywhere other than just on in Twitch schedule. I didn't even put um, a countdown in YouTube. I want to see if it matters at all or not. What happened here? Stream elements. Oh, I guess stream elements bot is now on. Yeah, you can type, for example, exclamation mark FAQ. And or in Twitch uptime. And now it should work after the stream from yesterday. In two pointers, it's very easy to make a mistake. Oh, article on lead code. Reverse the characters in a string. Uh, that's boring. <laughs> that's so bad. How can you, for two pointers, give example of reversing a string where it's easier to swap first i with n minus i minus one and so on? Hello, Jixas. A varied competitive programmer's handbook? Yes, part of it. Find a pair of integers such that the sum is equal to zero. Uh, What happens here? That's a strange way to put it. But maybe not that strange. There is here. They say J is increasing. J is now decreasing. Why decreasing? I 
Okay. So one way to implement this problem is to iterate over i, make j global, and here say while ai plus aj is too big, decrease j by 1. Hello, X Gaming Zone. I need some common lead code problem, common two pointers problems. Just water. Okay, this is exactly what I'm looking for. Longest substring without repeating characters. Given a string, find the length of the longest substring without repeating characters. And there are several ways to implement that. I want to investigate them. One will be... There will be start and end of that interval. Let's call them start and end. Uh, initially, let it be from start to end inclusive. And we'll create a set of characters. Nope, not like that. Inside. Contains elements in start to end. By elements, I mean characters. While end plus one is still inside, and not inside count of that, while I can expand by one. do it. For this start we have the rightmost possible end. We say that this could be the answer. How to manage competitive programming and Kaggle simultaneously? I don't understand the question. How to do two things in your life? You, you are allowed to do both. I don't have a bracket. No, oh, semicolon at the end. No, how to manage job and a hobby? It's just about managing your time. Hmm. I'm not inserting. Uh, okay. And not removing. Nice. Insert S of end, new element. And after I'm done with start, I move to the right by one, inside, erase, so start. This is accepted. Of course, set can be removed. It can be a boolean array of size 26 or maybe 256. They didn't say what are characters in the string. So I would say that this is push technique where we iterate with first pointer and we push the other one to the right well, if necessary. 
the, the other one would be to pull, to iterate to, uh, over the end. And to pull start. Let's try that. This stream won't be too long. It will be at most two hours. Mm. Maybe one hour. No, an alternative. Again, I need length. This time I want to iterate over the end of interval. And it will pull start to the right. Let's use the same method. I could just copy that. Whatever. Actually, no, this is not here yet. Let's say that when I'm at end, I want to insert this one inside insert s of end because this is a new character but if inside already has such a character then while s of start is not that because I want to remove it then uh, let's say I'm encountering character f but I know f is already in the string in that interval, then I need to move start till I hit uh, that one. Well, not that. Actually, also including that moment. Uh, so while true, move start by one. Inside erase as of start. Start plus plus, and if erased element as of start minus one was the one I need to make available then break and then as inside insert s of end mm. yeah. Series max of answer and and minus start plus one. This method seems more complicated. Why set not unordered set? Why unordered set? The the size of this set anyway is constant, twenty six or two hundred fifty six. So the fact that I have logarithm from that doesn't matter too much. And in general. I don't like an ordered set because there can be hash collisions. Set is only like two times slower for big data unless some special tests are created and then an ordered set is quadratic. Uh, unless I know that I need to get rid of logarithm, I prefer set. It's safer. Pessimistic case for set is better than for an ordered set. An ordered set could be linear per operation. An unordered set is going to be more efficient. Uh, uh, yes, I the array would be better, but I wanted for con I'm doing that for convenience. I'm interested in the other part of the solution, the one about two pointers. I don't care what exactly happens when I move by one. That's this problem related safer, no difference in safety. There is difference in safety and by that I mean an ordered set can be very slow. Hashing can have, hashes can have collisions and it might happen, not in this problem, but in general it might happen that you will insert n elements in some in an ordered set and it will take n square time. So it's safer in that, that way. Set Pessimistic time of set is of size per operation and unordered set. This is O of, uh, of flux. 
log of size per operation and this is of size per operation pessimistic time expected is of one but that would uh, assume random data data that is not malicious to your hash order set you're iterating to find your spot no you're not if, if you're talking about this set then it uses some kind of red black trees it is all of log per operation but for coding interviews no i didn't return for coding interviews an ordered set is better because interviewers like it and they say okay it's constant per operation i i don't know why people agreed so much that hash sets and hash maps are so good because their pessimistic time is bad and in competitive programming where organizers of competitions they know what's up they can create complicated tests if possible they will make a test where your solution is quadratic it's doing a tree search not just of one lookup and follow collision uh, I... it's doing a tree search not just of one lookup and follow collision I don't know if you're talking now about set or unordered set but set is yes a tree search and it's of log logart as I said while uh, unordered set the complexity of operation will be all of number of numbers with number of elements with the same hash you're searching a tree within a set and an ordered set is all of one so unless there are hash collisions then it can be even all of number of elements the hash in this case is super easy to cover uh, yes I, I agree that in this problem it doesn't matter but you know also set in this problem will be very fast because number of elements is small so log of something is small uh, my point is that in general it's safer to use set not unordered set see complexity of unordered set insert for example worst case is linear in container size for set it's only logarithm but in for pessimistic case an ordered set is worse and usually in algorithms we care about pessimistic case worst case is not common case i agree with that but in competitive programming in general in challenges online if any test can be created then in general it's safer to use a set not in this problem in this problem it doesn't matter both methods are constant time because the size of set is limited by 26 or maybe 256 isn't the set growing if there are a lot of collisions uh, well depends on the hash if there is some particular hash like for everything like a string uh, a string has a hash in C++ I think it has uh, but if in particular if hash is implemented very simply like uh, in some version of Java at least it was just value modulo 2 to 32 or, or something like that then if you create a test with input like zero let's let's by m i denote 2 to 32 if you create a test 0 m to m 3 m 4 m and so on up to n times m let's say like that 
I don't know if it was Java, but where you insert such elements to a set of long longs, an ordered set of long longs, it was quadratic. Because the hash of a long long was computed as this value modulo 2 to 32. So each of those elements, <coughs> it, had, it had the same hash. Uh, some implementations for an int will do a hash returning a number. Because it, it, because it gives an even distribution for the entire range of int. No, but once you choose a hash, it can be exploited. You, you have some hash, there will be some collisions. Somebody can create exactly test where there will be collisions. Modular value is usually a big prime number though, and then the same the same holds true. Somebody can create a test where that big prime number, the model of that numbers will be the same. Yes, it depends on the inputs. Exactly. Uh, like to, to hash functions, again, it can be broken. I, I understand that there can be fixes. You're, you're defending some method that has worse pessimistic complexity and mm, and what and I, I understand that it can be fixed but in, instead of worrying about that and doing something complicated we can instead just use a set unless we want to get rid of logarithm by the way the running time will not be 20 times better for a set even though logarithm of say a million is 20 uh, we can actually check that what happens even without collisions Rant returns un uh, unsigned int right I think so For a set, the running time is three seconds for an ordered set. I expect here second and a half. But we'll see. It can be 100 milliseconds, can be three seconds as well. Yeah, one second 37. So you see that even though it's worse in complexity by logarithm, even without hash collisions, it's the same magnitude of speed, just two times faster. Now think what will happen if test will be malicious. Using that is a terrible way to test anything. Uh, well, I'm checking how they work on random data and not random data can be much worse and worse in that it will be quadratic instead of linear for an ordered set. If you are worried about performance, you should be preferring... Yeah, but I'm worried about pessimistic performance. And this is why set is safer. Exactly. I, I wanted to link this in a moment. Blowing up an ordered map. Uh, there is some blog explaining... Uh, explaining how to make an ordered map in C++, so also an ordered set, quadratic. And... In competitive programming, in some online competitions, if you want to use a hash map and want to be safe, then this you need to use something uh, randomized. You need to choose first. So this creates this is run once, we choose fixed random or some big random integer, and instead of x we return x plus fixed random. Then it's harder to create a test against that. And here there is even better because that only changes plus x. Uh, here it's more complicated. Mm. Okay. For pessimistic case for an ordered set and map, they are quadratic for n operations. 
Uh, it's about knowing your data, you know the data, make the right choice for it. <laughs> you don't always know the data. No. Well, some example would be that you're, you have a website. I don't know. Let's say you have a dictionary of usernames. And usernames seem, seem, seem random, right? It's not that if you compute hash of every string, a username, then they should be evenly distributed, more or less. But then you're, you will be potentially exploited because somebody that could that will try to make your database blow, they will create such nicknames, uh, assuming they know your hash, that they will give the same hash. And uh, they, they will try to create some random strings of length, let's say 10, giving exactly the same hash. And then after they add uh, thousands of accounts, your database will become very slow because you have hash collisions. So yeah, not always you know the data. And if we really if we really care about the running time, then sure, if possible, we should use an array. If not, the hash map in C++, there is a very hash, uh, there, there is a fast hash map. Uh, code for says, how is it called? GP policy data structures. It's a few times faster than standard hash map because standard hash map and hash set, an ordered set, are limited in some way. They uh, A long time ago in C++, they decided that in an order set, something needs to be done. Like they need to be stored in buckets. I don't remember. There was some decision made about an order set, but this method is slower. And now they are stuck to it because it's in standard. Instead, you can include a lot of strange things. Well, this is that. I don't know if I'm looking at the correct article. I think this is ordered set. Uh, nope. It forces fast hash map. Oh yeah, this is the block. So this is faster hash set hash map. where instead of uh, what yeah, read write standard unordered map has read write of i don't know million elements or whatever of 1.7 this one has around 0 0.2 i don't know which one it is they compare to in, in some cases here it's six times faster and, but in the fact that this faster one exists doesn't mean we need to always use it um, and also this one, I believe, without some smart hash. Oh yeah, they mentioned here a smart hash. Uh, it can be quadratic. But the simpler way to handle that, make sure that your solution is not quadratic, is to just use a set. Can the set be exploited by forcing tree balancing? No, it's there. There are trees that are at most n log n for any sequence of n insertions. Because those are called, let's say, self-balancing trees. If something becomes too long, then it reorders itself, and it's provable that it's n log n total. Just like, for example, sort is n log n. Uh, but it's more complicated and set is implemented as such a thing. It's called red black tree, I believe. Uh, gym is for practice. Contest is where you measure your performance and you your rating will change in code forces. I don't get this question. If you're working with a database for that, you're building indexes indices to find things. Uh, yeah, then sure. I, I wanted to give you example kind of close to real life where you expect you would expect data to be random. 
I'm not saying that people do that in, a, in an incorrect way, because for sure somebody thought about that. What I'm saying is uh, that uh, what I'm saying is that you sh will expect sometimes the data to be random, but then you can it can be exploited, attacked. And here, okay, there are indices, but if there is let's say a new user and it try he tries to create a new username, you need to check if this string exists in already chosen strings. It's not that you will compare something by indices. Hello. Uh, default implementation is awful for HashMap and HashSet due to iterator rules. Yeah, like, I, I don't know what exactly there is that bad. I, I believe that it will be iterators, but I just know it's kind of slow. And this is why it's not that be beneficial to use it over a set. Uh, I make videos from time to time. Well, in terms of length of a string, set will actually be linear size of size of the string times logarithm. So you know it's it's worse. This this argument doesn't change anything. Practice if you want to improve anything. Oh yeah, actually. I will eventually make a video how to use code forces really because I believe for newcomers it's it's complicated. Yeah, blowing up an ordered map is linked earlier here by strictly spicy. I will maybe copy that with annotation blowing up an ordered map. You can just join code forces, that's fine. And the last thing about this set versus hash set. Real life is obviously different than competitive programming. It's not that you care about pessimistic case. You care about the realistic case, plus you just want to be safe in terms of, I don't know, being exploited, something like that. Uh, it, I think in in some random task in production, I would use an ordered set because it's slightly faster, but I would think about that. Mm, though if somebody asks me what's the pessimistic case here, I must say quadratic, so that's some small issue. Step-by-step -step method to improve in CP, guess what? Practice. Solve harder and harder problems. In in my GitHub wiki and also in my FAQ, there there are some tutorials for that. Uh, okay, let's get back to two pointers. Yeah, I was here. I tried first to move with first pointer and push the other one. Then I tried to here move with the second pointer and pull the previous one. It is more complicated. I don't like this method. Uh, let's see what lead code has as intended solutions. Brute force. Well, and cubic brute force. Hmm, interesting. There's function all unique. Oh, they created a function. Sliding window. Standing window optimized. Start with zero, zero. Try to extend the range. Okay, that's. I don't like when people use 
not closed intervals like from i to j but exclusive not containing j though i would here instead use minus one that's uglier i'm not sure which method is better sliding window optimized for ASCII and extended ASCII. I thought that ASCII by default it can have 256 values. What does extended ASCII means? Do they mean that this is alphanumeric numbers? Uh, and what? S standard characters? I always... I will take a look. I always thought that I need 256 ASCII and extended ASCII. Okay, everything printable is up to 127, indeed. Left single quotation mark, right single quotation mark, and dash. Okay, good to know. I would always, unless it's just lowercase or uppercase English characters, uh, I always created arrays of size 256, not 128. ASCII historically 7 bit? Okay. And with what, one control bit? Or just everything was 7 bit? I think bytes were always 8 bit. So there was one zero just for fun. What's the point? One bit is something weak for us, a control bit, the, the safety measure. Why ask a seven bit? Indeed, originally conceived as a seven bit code. So bytes, I don't know this word. Ubiquitous, common. This was done well before 8-bit bytes became common, and even into 90s, you could find software that assumed it could use the 8th bit of each byte of text for its own purposes. As I said, good to know. But back to the the top. This was first slide window. And I always thought that sliding window is a solution where the window has constant size. Otherwise, it's called if two pointers can move with different speeds. I also I always call it two pointers or uh, caterpillar, you know the worm. Sliding window is an abstract concept commonly used in array slash string problems. Window is a range of elements in the array. It's usually defined, usually defined by the start and end indices, for example, ij. So j is next index to take. It's hash set to store. What happens here? Yeah, they don't iterate with i, they have a while loop. I, I will also try that. I didn't want to hide it that much. Maybe it's fine. This was push method, pull method. And then finally, 
something unique for for two pointers where we do this and let's say that end for me indeed will be next to take so this is first taken a start next to take zero this is start and end kind of well first taken is smaller than n Maybe I will reveal that in case there's somebody new to the stream. They should know what I'm doing. There is still a set or an ordered set. Let, let's use an ordered set. If uh, inside doesn't contain character as of next to take. I need to care in a moment about getting out of the array. Site insert of next to take and increase this by one. Else erase as of first take. Plus plus. I could here say this time without the plus one. Notice that if something ends here, starts here, then the length is the difference plus one. From two to four, there are three elements, so four minus two plus one. Here is just the difference. Because this time it's not in, it's not inclusive. Or easier, I can just write this. The, here I also meant max. This is number of characters inside. Next to take. I need this because I'm checking that inside. Is that it? I, I feel that this method will be easier in many cases, but in general, northern, but in general, quite dangerous. It's not intuitive here what conditions I should use. Is it okay if next to take is n? I think this condition will be bad if we are looking for the shortest string that satisfies something. This is the so simplest solution for the yet, at least, but I feel it's tricky in general. I have a coding interview next week. I'm expecting lead code easy medium tips. Uh, solve some lead code easy medium. Well, for tips just before the interview, if it's next week, then it's not that you will learn a lot of algorithms. You can read some behavioral tips online. There are a lot of places with this knowledge for free. How to behave. Uh, it, it's not time to get good at algorithms. It's not enough time. Of course, if you spend one week, 10 hours a day, then you will learn a lot. But in general, I think practice for a coding interview, if you're bad at algorithms, it should start a month ago, at least. Not a week before. Code something. Well, I did. Parity of this is regarding the bits, possibly parity bit, but this was the successor to six bit and earlier encoding so long before it bit was standard. I, I thought about the parity bit, but just the parity bit is so little information. With probability 50%, even a random thing will be fine. 
Um, so sure, it's something. Maybe I just don't understand how important parity bit is. Where I can learn combinatorics and problems like. Well, this second problem is covered by I, I covered it in my blogs in Code Forces. So I think also in YouTube. Versus come Richter uh, some technique. Yeah, some sent expected value. Those blocks are related. They are quite more com a bit more complicated than problem you're asking, but it's something. Uh, so this is first part, and there's also a video. Yeah, there's a link here. There, so sum and EV. Look, you can read this for starters. And in general, combinatorics and other math problems, I think they should be learned from books, from books on math. Can you expect any graph tutorial which contains almost every concept from basic to advanced related to graph? No, not at all. No, not for sure not. Because you know, gra graphs are a big thing. I will not make 50 videos on them. Every concept from basic to advanced related to graph. No, no, no. I don't have that much time. If I focused on graphs, then in a year I would make what you're asking for here, but I'm not going to just do graphs. Let's get back to reading the solution. Do they have the same? Not set contains this. Mm. This can be done only when after we create a new character. Mm. Is this condition necessary first taken smaller than n? Is it possible that first taken is greater than next to take? If it's empty, then this cannot be true, so for sure we do this. I, I claim that this thing is unnecessary. I sometimes wonder how detailed editorials should be, solution description. So even if an author knows that something is unnecessary, I, I don't know if they knew here that this part is unnecessary, but if, I, if they knew, is it good to explain it? That this editorial is already quite long. For me, everything here will be easy to understand and I can read it in five minutes. But in general, it takes a lot of time. I care a lot about programming, teaching programming and how to explain things well. And sometimes I wonder in a perfect world how this should be explained. Wait, minimum of M N? What is M? What is M? Maybe alphabet size? The size of the char set, car set. Yeah, how to? S <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce car. Maybe let me finally Google that. How to pronounce? Pronounce char or car? Char. Here it's char, but not necessarily. It's about programming. It's like GIF and GIF. If I have heard all these forms used and as a 
descriptivist. I would make no attempt to declare any as correct. There's a verb, char. Well, if it comes from character, then for sure car makes a lot of sense, but it's just hard to pronounce car when you look at the shorter word. I don't know. How do you guys pronounce it? Uh, I, the fact that it's short for something I don't know if it's own word. word. Like, by the way, I pronounce give as give, but it's not because I think it's correct. It's because I'm Polish and this is how you would say it in Polish, a give. So I got used to that. I'm not any English expert. Exactly like GIF, GIF or BAF. Buff. Ask any native English speaker and they will tell you one is correct and the other is completely wrong. Uh, medium graph problems on lead code. Makes sense. Uh, where was I? Well, this is car set or char set. Alphabet M. I agree with space complexity, the time, oh, that was brute force, sliding window, please. Time complexity is O of N. A mapping of the characters to its index. Then we can skip the characters immediately when we found a repeated character. Uh, I understand. I had this thought, but it's very much. It's only a trick for this problem. It's not something general, so I don't care this much. The goal of this stream is to find a nice method to implement two pointers. Just like I once did binary, binary search stream, where I compared a few different methods. I solved five problems in each of those methods, and I chose a method that I think is easiest, most intuitive. And I, since then, I teach people exactly that way. It doesn't even mean that I use it. I used binary search 200 times before that, or maybe more. and I'm kind of stuck with that method. It's hard to switch, but if I need to explain it to somebody new, uh, like to, to a student or well, to anybody that would learn it, then I use some other method that I find most intuitive after trying all of them. The purpose of the stream is the same, to find a nice method to implement two pointers. So far, I'm not satisfied with anything. J is the end of interval, and if map contains right now J, then I maximize with that. If you see that there is F and there was some F before, then left end must be on the right from that. Why not this plus one? Oh, here they do plus one. Uh, that's, that's ugly. I would move this plus one there. Uh, exactly here. Then map would denote the last position. Map map is a bad name, by the way. This should be named last position of this character. Or something shorter, obviously. Last pause, last position. Yeah, index. 
current index of character that's a bad name Python solution enumerating as <coughs> sorry if value is in dictionary then look at it position plus one this could be said as start is maximum of start and dictionary value plus one that's a more complicated way to write it and again max length is max of max length and that This can be compressed quite nicely. Yeah, that's a shorter version. String list. Uh, for every character in S. Okay, but I believe this is linear to find index of x this will be linear of the size of the array so the complexity becomes n times m yeah, it's uh, n times m I believe n times size of the alphabet and discuss most votes most voted solutions are something unique for this problem instead of something generic for two pointers not a good problem to learn two pointers from if you look at the discussion and that's a general issue with lead code if you want to learn two pointers it's not a place to go Is there a way not to get confused with plus minus one index offsets when using size over two operations? I don't get the, the last part of your questions when using size over two operations. Regarding plus minus one, I often think about some small examples, like one, two or three sizes like that, and think what exactly will happen there. For two, I want to get one. Okay, then this works. For three, I want to get one. Then I need to round down. I think it's generic in the sense that insight about skipping over characters is similar to KMP. Okay, that's some point. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to learn two pointers. Minimum window substring. in the minimum window in S, which will contain all the characters in T. That's two pointers again. Oh, it's hard difficult. A, B, C. I'm looking for a substring with all characters A, B and C. Starting from the start, I will get here. Then I will remove first character. I'm at Dobek. And I need to move forward till I hit A. I need to keep track of the number of each of those characters inside. Can T contain equal characters? I assume that no, it's impossible. 
I will change this into a set. And again, this is not the fastest, met fastest method, but it's most convenient. I should instead use an array. I want to something convenient so that I could focus on two pointers part of this problem. Set of car. Uh, let's say that this will be underscore T. Now I will just use T dot count of that. Solve it first and then increase performance. I don't care about performance, performance really. Uh, if I see a method to make a program three times faster, but here I'm, I'm, I want to research methods to implement two pointers, then I don't care about those unrelated techniques. For there is a set. Let's make, I guess, a map. It will count occurrences in the current interval. First taken is zero. Let's try that last method I used previously. Next to take is zero. Well, I guess well this. I need shortest. If possible, I want to remove the first character. If all if currently is okay, all exist. And this is to the code for a moment, obviously. And not t count of s of first taken. So the the first first taken is it is not among characters in T so it doesn't matter or either this or there are already other characters like that so it's a case like I'm looking at F but I know that my current interval has another F as well here then it's okay to remove the first character or count of s of first taken is at least two. There's this character and one other one. In those cases, first taken plus plus. Count of s of first taken minus minus. And here I can do plus plus. else take the next element count of s of next to take plus plus it isn't always guaranteed that i have a good string so if all exists, well, I need for sure that condition, and for that I will keep track of count existing. Existing. Either this, I will later try another method where I iterate over the prefix of string, add characters to make to make all the letters appear here, and then I will maintain a correct string. Right now, when I start, the, string, the interval is empty on, on my substring, so it is not okay. It doesn't contain all characters I need. One method is to count existing, then all exists, all exist, it becomes count existing t length, t size, either this, and if after decreasing by one, 
this should be done only if it's one of special characters though otherwise I don't care so I can always do that and that's very ugly if t count of s of first taken then decrease if after decreasing by one it becomes zero but that's impossible if i i check that here so i can just do this decrease the count by one and first taken plus plus else take the next element and possibly increase count existing by one if t count of as of first taken count of s of ne not first taken next to take i'm adding a new character and if before adding it was equal to zero and count existing plus plus anyway next to take plus i think that's terrible it's way too complicated I need to return a string. Count existing is to its size. So I believe that now the condition here is not correct. If count existing is t size, then I need shortest window. But I don't want quadratic complexity. So if I did this and keep rewriting the string, it might be bad. Instead, it will be a pair of indices. And if answer first is minus one, or otherwise, if it's longer. then next to take minus first take then answer is next no, first taken next to take now this con works in constant time unlike uh, what would happen if i overwrite a string the return I always forget how to do that in C++. S dot if answer first is still minus one. Return empty string. S substring or substring of first taken answer dot first. And what is here length? Answer second minus answer first. In some cases, it's a requirement for the lead code problem to be log or similar. This is what I was referring to. Okay, I understood. So, uh, yeah, I, my goal isn't to get accepted in the problem. It's to test different methods of two pointers. I, I find Adobe. Something is wrong. What that is? So this should count, but only for characters in set T. Count existing is initially zero. 
yeah as i said i expect this to be wrong so let's fix that if next to take is n it's still fine here i see what happens with first take n and this is what i talked about in the previous problem when i said this might be very tricky it's okay if next to take is n maybe next to take is n but i'm moving with left pointer now else and now if next to take is n break right because this denotes adding a new character because i need that yeah i believe this should be better and the answer for sample test was some suffix of the input so maybe that was an issue can't there be more than one character of similar types i don't get the question machine learning can solve this problem for me i don't think so <clears throat> machine learning cannot solve uh, machine learning cannot solve problems so what two characters what does it mean machine learning cannot solve competitive programming problems yet some people tried that which will contain all the characters in t don't like lit code. Right now T is AA and what do they expect? This string it has all characters in T. It has A and it has A. I understand that coding interview questions can be ambiguous, but here when it's a problem stated like this, you cannot ans ask a clarifying question. And what are you supposed to do? What should I do if there are two characters in the same characters in T? I assume that they require at least that number of characters to be in my substring. But this is not what is written here. Will contain all the characters in T. It contains A, it contains A. <clears throat> map the code of course will become much worse because I expected the problem to be a bit different Count existing now will count. Count limitations satisfied. <clears throat> if this <clears throat> and either doesn't exist, the count is at least two. Now the count should be at least. <clears throat> Oh, my throat is hurting. T of S of first taken plus one. If I need five characters A and I have at least six, then I can remove. Else, if this becomes exactly T of S of next to take increase by one. Because my throat is hurting, I think this will be the last problem. Oh, now there is something legitly wrong if there is a a what happens this is not true else next to take is n not true if t count of this
plus plus first. If after adding one, it becomes equal to the condition, then increase by one. Accepted now. But that was so, so, so ugly. I will try other methods in a moment. Um, it's called machine learning. Uh, I, I wouldn't say that this looked like a joke. You know, machine learning can do a lot of things and legitly teams of people tried to solve code forces problems using machine learning. They were quite bad at it, but not it's not that impossible. It's just very, very hard. I believe we are at least 10 years away from that. But you know, the, if we had more data, maybe like millions of problems and billions of solutions, then maybe can't we have more than one similar characters so if by similar you mean meant same then okay i agree and that's like a really good web hosting site what lead code lead code is not a web hosting site Where is N coming from? Did I have N in my solution? Here? If I want to take the next character, but I'm already outside of the array, then I cannot take it. Minimum windows is red herring IMO. IMO. Uh, I don't know. Anything followed by... This is... I, I'm not up to date with switch and memes. And so wait, this is Kappa is the other one, right? Or this is Kappa. Okay, this is Kappa. Uh, what is there? Okay, let, I think there is also Lenny face. That's the different meaning. Uh, anyway. I understand that I could understand this as a joke, but also this is possible, almost possible. To point their approach is used only if elements are positive. Depends on the problem. Here we have characters. In a problem about interval sum, then yes, but you shouldn't remember it like this. You should understand why something doesn't work or works. How to know if we need to use two pointers? Good question. It should look similar to other problems about two pointers. Imagine trying to solve it by ML, which I'm assuming would be a lot harder and would take a lot more time. Of course, it's not the point isn't to solve this particular problem by by ML. The the goal is to take millions. Well, we only have thousands. To have, take thousands of problems, easy problems from competitive programming or coding interviews with their solutions and from this after now uh, so something will learn from this and given a new problem it will solve it there is not right now a friend told me yesterday that in Kaggle there is a new competition I think it's for fun It's something like you're given 400 patterns. For this input, it should be this output. For this input, there should be this output. Uh, and you should learn from this. But they are completely different. Like one, it will fill a rectangle with yellow. The other, it will rotate the drawing by 90 degrees. And nobody knows how to solve it well. To from input the, from those 400 training tests 
to make something good for the hidden tests. Is it here? Maybe somebody knows what I'm talking about. What is that? Connect your trackers in a row before your op opponent. Get a certain number of your trackers in a row horizontally, vertically or diagonally. Is it the game of connect four when you put stuff from above? Yeah, four in a row. Leaderboard. Maybe I should make a stream with this. Loading, loading. I will read chat while waiting. I was able to use a bit mask only with 128 runtime 8 milliseconds. Yes, if if you need a set of size 128, like if you need to maintain the existence of characters from 0 to 127, you can fit that in bit mask with 128 bits or in int 128. Why is it so long? I will take somebody from bottom of the leaderboard, maybe they are faster. Yes, they are. This game doesn't seem too complicated. Already after some time, the number of possible moves is small. What it is? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Already here, Gray knows they cannot put a token here because then uh, K wins immediately. I'm surprised that this isn't solved perfectly already. And I wonder if there are a lot of ties. Maybe those videos can be exploited. You can look at the first move of a winner and just copy it then see how they would respond to this first move and then like, c copy that action and so on this is a tie right um, okay back back to to this what's up in the chat uh, Count the number of subarrays whose sum lies between LR. Yes, this can be solved with two pointers. I understood as universal sol solver, and then it's not that far fetched. Can any problem solved by binary search be solved by two pointers? No. 
for example, find square root of x using integers. Can be solved by binary search, cannot be solved by two pointers. Have I done ML? Just a little bit. Yeah, it's connect four, but they wanted to make some variation to it, so it can be connect five as well, hence the x in connect x. Maybe that's a good thing to do on Thursday. I have a lot of time this week to stream, maybe even this evening. Uh, I wonder how private this is. What I mean is, can I solve a problem during a stream? I guess so. Kaggle was always quiet, sharing friendly. As long as you aren't winning, you're okay. chess stream sometimes I'm not good at chess if I if I am to play then I will not talk a lot it will not be interesting uh, Google Kickstart is harder the stream is about two pointers got it maybe later if I if I see such a problem on lead code I'm quite sure that if you Google this, you will find the, the problem. Back to this thing. That approach was too complicated. Let's see what editorial says. That's shorter. I, I made my life harder by making a single while loop. You should stir first, I guess. Increase the prefix and then the suffix. Else. Oh, it's not, it's not short. Okay, n never mind. I didn't scroll enough. This solution is long. Submissions discuss most votes. Well, and smaller than size. Oh. Let's read this. Counter is T size. It counts characters missing, I'm guessing. This is the answer. S of end plus plus if after subtracting it be it is uh, if it is greater than zero then we subtract then counter minus minus we we maintain a single map if something is needed five times shouldn't this be that it is equal to one. Oh, counter is the number of har characters. That's very tricky. If if T was A A A B B B, and then counter would initially be six. And here they count how many matching characters there are. At every moment we maintain the number of characters matching between S and T. I believe that it will be easier for people to understand how many characters are fully matched already. By 
not necessarily the shortest solution is easy to understand. Here it took me a moment. What is this submission? Page not found. Maybe it's private. Check in incognito mode if you can access it yourself in private. You can paste to paste bin or ID one. Show the approach for the above problems. Stop stop repeating yourself. Yes, I got your I got your comment. I've read it. You saw how you heard how I read it. Uh, while valid, make it invalid. This code is short because it's just compressed like with things like this. Come on, nobody writes writes like this from the first try. Here comes the template. Check whether the substring is valid. Uh, modify counter. We move with end. Why is this not a for loop? We always increase end here. So I would make this into for end is zero and smaller than s dot size and plus plus. Here just do this without plus plus. Seems easier. <coughs> Counter is zero. Consider this to be the answer and remove one character. Instead of those two places, I think we can always do that here. Don't need to tr consider answer every time. This is well valid. Oh wait, they want to make it invalid. Is that a good method? For me, it's easier to try to make to keep the interval to be valid, and I think in general it's better. Here I would say, if I can remove the first character without making the string invalid, then do that. I will make some drawings. Let's say we want to find minimum minimum interval, minimum substring that satisfies something. Then st starting from zero, we try to find how long we go. Let's say here is enough and this is now valid. Then I move the left pointer by one right here. So it starts here now. Maybe still the same thing is valid. Maybe not. If it's invalid, then I continue a little bit. This type of thinking is iterating with start. 
and increasing and if needed or alternatively we can say that we have always some substring and we want minimum substring so if if we can remove the first character and the thing is still valid then we do that but this thing is quite ugly you need to say instead of just updating your counter we need to check if making this change would still make the string valid can we avoid this here by the way i'm thinking out loud i'm i don't know what method is the best and i'm trying to investigate that uh, did he, did he forget to update d there no it's it's here and here this is problem this is problem problem menu window string i will paste the link 76 on it on top uh, what like here D is int max I think it's okay if something is valid then it con it considers it I don't see an issue I see you type very fast. It would be awesome if you take a min break on type racer. Bit curious to know your typing speed. Around 90. I don't know. Maybe at the end of the stream I will take a test. Uh, so there's this thing about possibly removing one character. How to avoid this? I can... Well, if it's valid, what about this? I will remove it, and maybe now it's invalid. And if it's valid, then I add a new thing, add a new thing, add a new thing. Now let's say this is valid. Consider this to be to be good, and remove the first character. Now we have this. So what about logic? If invalid, then append to the right. If valid, remove the first character. Well, true. If invalid, append. If else, erase first. Is it what I'm doing right now? Yes, it is what I'm doing right now. No, it's not. This part is complicated. Uh, let's try that. And I will use that tricky method from here where we use a single map. Oh, so this is like map of requirements. required first taken is zero next to take is zero if invalid and i need to count satisfied requirements just like i did that here and I did that, uh, they did that in the d discuss here. There was also a counter. Satisfied requirements is initially zero. If satisfied is different than 
require.size then I need a new character if next to take is n break requirement of this character as of next to take <coughs> minus minus yes minus minus if this after decreasing by one becomes zero I satisfied the requirement then satisfied plus plus else erase first if uh, this was zero but now it's not the requirement appears then satisfied minus minus and next to take I need a plus plus First taken, I think it will not overcome next to take. So that would be it. If satisfied. No, if satisfied is equal that. Then consider this to be the answer. Answer is minimum of answer. Let's say make pair of next to take minus first taken. This is the length, comma, first taken. This will be a pair length, comma, first. If answer first, the max empty string, otherwise return the substring starting here of this length I, I can remove this will you upload the best solution on the second channel? I don't think so on, on the main channel I try to put well curated content kind of uh, then I record it I cut it I think a lot what to say plus it would take me a long time to go from my recordings of streams and cut it okay, I didn't find bank And as I said, this will be the last problem I'm solving today. After that, I will read the, the solution, at least roughly. Plus, I will make a typing test, if you want. We'll see how it goes. If invalid, append on the right. Up next to take. If after decreasing by one, this requirement becomes zero, then I have a satisfied thing. Otherwise, erase the first character. If S of first taken, if it is zero, and after that, increase by one. If it is zero, then one thing stops being satisfied. If everything is satisfied, initially it's zero, then answer is minimum. Okay. Get us all within type racer. You know that you know that type racer isn't that real. 
they don't have that many users, uh, maybe they just lags are too big, really what you're racing against is recordings of people that took the test previously. At least usually that's the case. When you go to type racer, you see that the race is loading, there you will see some opponents. Most of them are not online right now. It's a recording of somebody from the past. In this case, I, you can share a link. Oh, that will be interesting. Yes, if that's possible, then we'll do that. Print first taken, next to take and satisfied. Just click race with friends on the site, it will give you a link to share. I will do that, thank you. From zero it went forward and forward and forward. It will always append a new thing, satisfied. Three characters were satisfied. As of next take. for ABC. But free satisfied from starting from here, it is equal to the size of this map. No, it isn't because I'm adding new elements. Uh, memo size, track size. Memo size and here as well. Why increase required for any character in else branch? I just think it doesn't hurt me. This is why. I'm not going to make an if if it's not necessary. And here just if some zero were was required, then in particular I kind of can say that every character appears here just sometimes zero times and if something is required positive number of times and then i use it the requirement becomes zero then i increase the number of satisfied maybe it would be easier if i said required or still required is this if still required is at this zero then do that if still required is zero and i no this is still required satisfied plus plus becomes still required minus minus still required plus plus this is the number of positive numbers in this map. Substring is good exactly when there are no positive numbers here. And I'm quite happy with this code. So maybe this is the best, met best method to always do while true, to use move left of right pointer this was for shortest string what about max substring max substring well, starting from here expand 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 something was good till here now let's say with next element it's bad, 
then I try removing, I remove the first character, say this is still bad, remove the first character, and this is maybe good. Then expand, expand, and so on. But it will not work correctly. What if I need to count the number of such max substrings? Does it still work? It also for, for this. Um, so am I missing anything? Let's think, let's think. Okay, I had this was okay. It's not with this guy. But if this was okay and with this guy, this is not okay. Maybe this is always fine. So the logic will be while true. If, if we are looking for max substring, if my current interval is good, expand by one, otherwise shorter by one. And that's it. It will be opposite to minimum substring. That's my current theorem. But really, my, my throat hurts and I don't want to continue the stream too long. Uh, got the smallest size of memory for that question. Nice. Uh, yeah. And of course, this map could be an array. Oh, yeah. D don't worry about this. This is it, just too hard to measure in C++ memory. Most of this memory is actually used by libraries by the amount of things you include. So this is bullshit. Don't look at that. Type tracer, I even have it here in the bookmarks. Uh, I need to log in. My average, I, I don't know if it's from last 10 races, was 89. A practice, race your friends. Here we go. starting in 10 seconds later we'll do a second try and to move things around I believe that's above my average, but who knows. Uh, I can do a few of those. Do I need a new link now, by the way? It is five more seconds. Congratulations to Mamba Dev for second place and to guest for <coughs> third place. I think it's nice. nice thing. I didn't know that there is this feature of racing with friends. I can do that often during streams. Especially if there aren't people in the chat who have like 150 words per minute. <laughs> I think as long as words aren't very complicated and there will there won't be many special characters, I will have above ninety. Flav that one, yeah, eighty-four, but I was also a bit worse. 
there should be a type racer for code. Uh, well, competitions are kind of that, especially if problem is very easy. Why don't you work at Google? Read that in my FAQ. Why would I work for Google? Actually, there is a comment now, exclamation mark FAQ. If I type this, <coughs> yeah. Um. My scores get worse and worse. 102, 97, 95. Maybe I'm tired. Yeah. Since yesterday, I have comments like FAQ, job, age. I, I think I also need exclamation mark help so it would list possible comments. I don't know if that's a standard thing. Generally, get one character wrong and then have to backtrack. It's good to quickly realize that. Sometimes it's better to type slower. Okay, that's the last race. You've got a disadvantage doing this in foreign language. Actually, okay, so this is enough. Uh, thank you everybody for playing. Uh, guest 89. Mm. I, I won't be much faster in Polish, you know. English words, I type more in English than in Polish. But yes, it would be better if I was a native speaker, because some words are hard for me. Like, uh, not in this text. This text was fine, but in the previous one, really, I don't know that word. There's also uh, fast fingers. Again, I will log in. It has very simple English words, and you can also see how I later type Polish words, and it will not be faster. Uh, no. halfway through and I cannot talk. <laughs> Hundred seventeen, but those are very simple English words, so I here can 
get above 120. I took this test a lot of times, like, I don't know, 200, I'm guessing. And if I switch to Polish, you will see that I'm slower because there are special characters. I'm not surprised. Uh, and I think that QWERTY keyboard is better for English than for Polish. In Polish, a lot of times, few characters are close to each other. Uh, yeah, so help doesn't exist. I'm just saying that I should add it. I would be faster if I was a native English speaker, just by few. Yeah, thanks for playing. First fingers, I'm around 120. So I think on average I will get in English above 100 here. I don't know. I didn't do typing tests for quite a long time. Uh, here, I don't know. Try Discord, competitive programming Discord. <laughs> this is what Polish university students do on Tuesdays. I'm not a student. Any technique to type faster? No, I, you know. Uh, learn typing faster if you google anything like that and this is what I did 10 years ago there will be a few uh, websites I I remember that I downloaded something some program where I could keep track it was free I could tr keep track of my results I don't want that typing tutor. Type me to find out how many words per minute you can type. Uh, I, I wanted some lesson. Oh yeah, and here. That's too complicated. Yeah, but there are those tests. For you, I remember that first tests, they were just to Type F and J because those you type with those two fingers, and then it was D F J K, then something with A L. Eventually, all characters in this row. Then slowly they started adding new characters next to those, like I don't know U and M here R and V and so on. And always, you you will be slow at the beginning of this process of learning fast typing because you need to really try to use exactly correct fingers, exactly those for characters U, J, M, R, F, V. But you know, long run, it's a good investment in yourself. There is also, I remember that I downloaded something. Maybe even it was in Polish. But there is uh, Thai code typing speed. I remember once I was decent, I practice on this website, typing.io, and there is what is closest to me. This? I guess so. Yeah, this is more code like namespace web core. This thing, it will teach you using special characters in programming. There are a lot of semicolon, for example, brackets. Normal programs will not teach you that. And here I will have much worse time than simple English words. But this is 
how you should practice once you are decent with English words. Bull report errors. If not context, I keep saying contest instead of context. Keep writing that because I use the word contest a lot. State, data, state, and so on. I don't want to finish, it takes some time. And here I will have, I don't know, 50 words per minute. Maybe if I'm if I focus, it will be 70. Uh, but I would recommend that you first try some program where you will start from just characters FJ and your speed doesn't matter. It matters that 100% of time you hit with correct fingers, with proper fingers. Then after you're decent with English words, try something like typing IO. You can choose your language of choice. Something with Python here. Because merge state object. And here it is hard for me if I would put a space somewhere or do not. And here there is different style. But at least it is some real code. I wrote, again, I wrote node instead of non because I don't use the word non every day. I use node. It's funny how there is muscle memory for those words. There is hard section. Uh, yes, there is. English. Where is English? No, oh, it's row wise. That's count. That's not intuitive. There is this, and here I will have a decent score. I don't know, ninety something. I don't want to finish. I will just do it for a moment. But it's still same style of of letters next to each other. Yeah, and there is there are some stats. Uh, anything here? I don't want to show. No. I can click my hit my profile, and I have some stats. Oh, actually, test taken, I almost took a thousand because members since 2014. So that time, six years ago, apparently, I practiced uh, fast typing a lot. I thought that it was earlier. Maybe when I started fast fingers, I was already decent. I already learned how to type properly. And here I only practiced. But uh, advanced normal typing test. French? I took French? Maybe once. For normal typing test, yeah, I'm around 119 here, 121 seems to be my highest. I think it's only suffix of data. That if we scroll back, it, it would be more. Because we see only like 50 points here, while I have more than 900 tests taken. There are also some practice here. <laughs> Your mom gay MMMMM. The typing competition. No, this is bad for practice. Cool for. No, if you have five minutes, you can take three such tests something on Type Racer and that, that other thing. But this is already when you know how to type properly. Uh, probability of getting some. Probability of getting some S of N rolling dice, I did it in a square, can you do it faster? I can do it with FFT in N log square, but I don't think they they wanted that. There's also something with... There was some combinatoric tricks, trick for that maybe, I don't remember. Probability of getting some S on and rolling dice. Similar problem would be among n digit numbers, count those with the sum of digits 
equal to s it's exactly the same maybe there was some trick for that i don't remember typing club i i don't want to if you are interested in learning how to type then check it out but i don't know it and i don't want to check it out now of course 8000 is already good for the sake of programming including competitive programming anything above 50 will be fine then what limits you further is just your your brain how much how how fast you can come up with solutions of course if you want to be the first if you want to win competitions you need to type very fast but to be among the top among the best 50 words per minute should be enough Yeah, you too stupid. <laughs> like, if you have hundred words per minute and you want to improve your performance in competitive programming, then for sure the issue is not that you should that you type too slowly. It doesn't mean you're stupid. It means maybe you practiced too little. Uh, that's everything for today. I will read this comment in a moment. Uh, the solution here was very long. Right, might shorter. I think it's quite nice. Then there's here. There's so many comments. Format is equal required. Well, R. So they move first of all with this. I don't, again, I don't know why this is not a for loop. Uh, there is something different here. I don't care. Okay, last thing. I will read the comment here <coughs> because it has a lot of upvotes. Compress, shrink, reduce spaces. No, th that's not enough. There are problems like, given an array finds substrings, sub intervals with the sum equal to something. They are not about compressing spaces. And there are those problems where pointers don't start from the same position, like when you want to find the sum of two elements equal to s. Uh, not too valuable comment. Hey, what's going on here? I will tell you exactly what's going. I'm ending the stream. Sorry about that. Can you solve some IOI competition? Not in the very near future, maybe a month before IOI. This is when people are interested in that. Uh, see you next time, either on Thursday. As always, below twi on Twitch, here below you will see countdown to the next stream. Maybe I will add one evening to those. If I felt better, it would be today in the evening. But uh may maybe not we'll see by default next stream is thursday morning what it will be i don't know it um yeah cool like the video subscribe to the channel stuff like that blah 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 have a nice day bye